Okay, so now one of the first things you're gonna wanna do if you don't already have a server of your own is to set up a local development environment. Now, I use local by Flywheel personally to build out these types of sites. Um, whenever I'm doing tutorials or courses or anything like that, I find it super easy to duplicate like scaffold sites or blueprints that you can have within local by Flywheel and then just kind of hit the ground running. Now, I'm not gonna go through exactly how to use local and all that fun stuff, but I will link a tutorial that I wrote uh, maybe a year or two ago on utilizing local to set up a local development environment and get cracking with building sites in WordPress with Divi and Body Commerce. So I will just go through the process here really quick of adding a new Divi site by cloning one of my existing ones. Your process might look a little different if you do have an online host where you would like to follow along with the course online, that type of thing, go ahead, be my guest. However you do it, that's gonna be up to you, but definitely check out the tutorial if this is all new to you. So let's get going. All right, guys, so here I am on local in my Mac, basically. Um, you might be on Windows, whatever, local is available for all platforms. So I'm going to go ahead and scroll down here to this install that I have here. You're obviously going to see different things. You might have to click on the big old plus here to add a new site. Follow the tutorial if you want to see how to do that. But I am just going to go ahead and clone this one. And because I already have Body Commerce installed on it, so I'm going to right click it. I'm just going to say clone. And I'm just going to say mastering e-commerce with Body Commerce. That's gonna be the name of my site. Gonna go ahead and clone it. Gonna pop up with a couple of dialogues that I need to fill out, but just so you know. Okay, and then now and again, you'll be prompted to add a password or not add a password, but rather type in your password. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And that basically all that does, it allows the root to be set up so that you can access this site. Now, I'm not gonna be worrying about security certificates here. Of course, if this is going to be a live site, you are definitely going to want to make sure that everything resolves to HTTPS, um, but we're not going to do that here. It's just a bit annoying. Um, okay, so here I go ahead and I click on WP Admin. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and trust this site. Just make sure that WooCommerce runs a little bit smoother. Oh, I need to remember my password. There we go. And then if you're on a Mac, you're gonna need to manually authenticate or authorize this certificate. As you can see here on my Mac, you just go ahead and you say, always trust, you close it, and then it's gonna ask you for passwords again. And then you're all set. So now here on the front end of, well, front end in my browser window, I'm gonna go ahead and put in that URL and there we are. And now you would have set this up for yourself. Uh, mine is just pretty much standard here that I usually utilize for these local sites. Online, you're gonna want to be secure. All right, so here we are, local, super simple, very quickly, I'm all set up. Now, I'm not gonna walk you through installing things like WooCommerce, Divi, a child theme for Divi. Now, a child theme, you'll be able to find, I'm gonna link it in this description of this video also so that you can just go ahead and download one if you don't have one that you're already using. And then the last thing that you're gonna wanna do and add on here, of course, is Body Commerce. And I will add a link in the description where you can go ahead and download Body Commerce from your My Account area. Cool, so let's just recap really quick what you need to install. You're gonna be installing Divi, a child theme for Divi. You're gonna be installing WooCommerce and you'll be installing Divi Body Commerce. Great. Once you've got that ready, let's go on to the next step.